Hi friends, today I am here to discuss about zero budget natural farming. We know that India is basically an agrarian economy and more than half of the population depend upon agriculture and other related activities. But the neo-liberalization in India make a deep agrarian crisis in India which make small scale farming an unviable vocation. Privatized seeds, inputs and markets are inaccessible and expensive for the farmers. Most of the farmers find themselves in a debt trap because of higher rate of interest for the credit, increasing price for inputs, volatile market price for crops, etc. According to NSSO data, almost 70% of the agricultural households spend more than they earn and half of the farmers are in a debt trap. In this regard, this year's budget and economic survey focused on zero budget natural farming to increase or to double the income of the farmers by the end of 2022. The word budget refers to credit and expenses and the phrase zero budget refers to no credit and without spending any money on purchasing inputs and the phrase natural farming refers to chemical free agricultural practice. Thus zero budget natural farming is a method of chemical free agricultural practice drawing from the tradition of Indian agricultural sector. It is also a grassroots level peasant movement which has wide success in the states of India, especially in the southern part of India in Karnataka where it was evolved. Zero budget natural farming was put forward by Subhash Palekar. The four major pillars or the four major wheels of zero budget natural farming include Jeevamrita. It is a fermented microbial culture to increase the fertility of soil by using cow dung and urine. It also acts as a catalytic agent to increase the activity of microorganisms in the soil and also the activity of earthworm. Second one is Bijamrita. It is to protect the young roots of plants from various diseases. Third one mulching. It is to protect or to enhance the soil moisture by covering the top layer of soil with dried biomass or manures. It also enhances the fertility of soil. And the fourth one is moisture. It is to conserve the moisture in the soil. Under such condition, zero budget natural farming promises to end the reliance on loans and also cut down the production cost. Thus, Zero budget natural farming act as a holistic alternative to the present paradigm of high cost input based agriculture practices in India. Thank you.